also breaking tonight a new worldwide travel alert just issued by the State Department warning all Americans of an increased terror threat around the globe. It comes during one of the busiest travel weeks of the year in the United States. Law enforcement agencies across the country, they are bracing themselves right now. What are the major challenges facing law enforcement, if you will, Homeland Security, the FBI, going into this big holiday weekend? The big challenge always, Wolf, in these cases are trying to read the mind of the people that might carry out an attack. It's one thing if they're trying to organize a cell, if they've intercepted conversations or an informant has told them that there's going to be an attack at a certain place and time. But if they have cells that they're monitoring, which they have 900 cases right now in the FBI, in those cases, when is the person going to go operational? The only way to know in some cases would be to read their mind, and that's asking a lot. And we've got the Macy's Day Parade in New York City, got major football games coming up on Thanksgiving. These are all big, big events, but there's also deep concern about soft targets, if you will, uh, by lone individuals. Yeah, the, the soft targets, I think, are the big deal. When you look at the big events that are taking place, security around those are paramount, they are obvious, and they are in layers. You've got the inner core and you have the outer core. And most of that outer is very aggressive intelligence collection, a lot of good forensics by law enforcement. It's those soft targets where you don't expect it, where you become that much more vulnerable. You agree, Paul? Uh, absolutely. And, and, you know, this is the ISIS playbook that they can just get automatic weapons. Uh, and there's concern that, that these terrorists can get weapons quite easily in the United States and very powerful uh, weapons uh, at that and concern that, that ISIS could send over some of these European extremists it's recruiting and training uh, in Syria and Iraq and, and the evidence from this uh, past plot in Paris suggests at least some of these attackers could have got to the United States. That's the most likely way I think ISIS can get a plot through against America. I